The patient is placed and prepped in a sterile fashion in the supine position. A positioning aid such as a pillow or blanket is placed below the knee to provide slight hip flexion and decrease tension on the ellipsoas muscle. Palpation and identification of the ASIS is important. This is the starting point for the ultrasound. A linear ultrasound probe is placed in a longitudinal plane over the ASIS and oriented so that cephalad correlates with the left side of the ultrasound screen. The probe is then rotated 45 degrees to align with the pubic ramus and advance medially along the ramus until the anterior inferior iliac spine is clearly seen. It is helpful to move medially until the AIIS is on the left edge of the screen. This will help prevent obstruction of the needle as it passes the AIIS. A 20 gauge 80 millimeter needle is inserted in plane and advanced to below the psoas and psoas tendon until contacting the pubic ramus. Once the ostium is contacted, the needle can be rotated to ensure complete penetration of the lipsoas muscle fascia. Injection pressures will be higher than other peripheral nerve blocks. If you encounter difficulty on injection, it is helpful to place traction of the needle laterally. 20 milliliters of 0.5% rapivacaine with 4 mg decadron is used for this block. You should see the psoas tendon being lifted up during the injection. Most patients are reporting over 72 hours of pain relief using this local mixture.